the Sterling Risk and Margin Monitor shows multiple views of margin requirements. This video will help understand the differences in viewing the Margin Monitor versus the closing OCC. On the Margin Monitor page, you can see the list of your accounts, and for each account, you can see the margin type. It supports CPM, which is Customer Portfolio Margin, and within the Portfolio Margin group of calculations, it also supports risk-based haircuts for broker-dealers, which is RBHBD, and risk-based haircuts for market makers, which is RBHMM. Additionally, it shows those accounts that are standard Reg T margin based. For each account, you can see your start of day equity, your daily PL, and your current equity as well, which is the start of day equity plus PL. For each account, it will show you the following the margin requirement, the maintenance margin requirement if it's a Reg T account, and the house and the straight OCC TIMS requirement. The OCC PM is the OCC TIMS based requirement for that account as well as a house PM if you have any house add-ons or house requirements. The difference between the requirement and the current equity is the net capital. This is the excess or shortfall in the account. Additionally, for any account, you can drill down to see all of the additional details. For example, in this account, which is a portfolio margin account, let's click to drill down. Here you're able to view the complete drill down of your portfolio margin calculations, showing every single class group and product group the scenarios for every single class group and product group, which represent the 10 different shocks under the TIMS methodology and the aggregation of all of these values to come up with the final portfolio margin requirement. All calculations are done intraday in real time based on current positions and current market data. They are not based on the day before's closing market data or calculations. All calculations are current calculations. The Sterling Risk and Margin System recalculates all implied volatilities, Greeks, and shock values to come up with an estimate of your portfolio margin requirements throughout the day. Similarly, for Reg T accounts, if you click on the detail icon, you will see all of the symbols as well as how the requirement is broken up between stock and covered calls, options, spreads, and naked options, showing the breakdown of your margin requirement based on the different types. From here, you can drill down under each row how the margin breaks down so that you can see which margin is coming from naked short options, which margin is coming from option spreads, and etc. If you would like to see the OCC for portfolio margin accounts, or if you would like to see the OCC calculated PM values, you can go to the closing OCC PM page. There, it is set up the same way as the margin monitor with the list of the accounts. It only shows the PM and RBH accounts. For each type, it shows the requirements based on the previous nights OCC calculated values as you see appearing on top where it says portfolio margin values calculated using the OCC file from the previous trading day. These are not intraday calculated values but the values that the OCC calculated from the night before. And here you can see all the full details. Thanks for watching.